I am visiting the quietest city in the world. Well, apparently that's what Google told me. This place is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. No wonder why this is so expensive. So I am what's known for to be the quietest city in the world, I guess. You know, I did just like five minutes of research and Zurich pulled up. So I'm in Zurich right now. So far, it's very peaceful. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no wonder why this place costs your soul to live here, bro. This is amazing. Right? Oh my God. But yeah, I'm in Zurich and I'm going to explore and see show you guys how quiet and peaceful this is because apparently this is very peaceful so i think i'm walking a bike route right now yeah i'm walking a no no you can walk okay god bro look at this oh, jesus christ <laughs> this place is so beautiful bro oh my god so i don't fully know if it's quite peaceful yet but i know this place is just beautiful and expensive <laughs> as you can probably tell by now i was amazed by all of Switzerland's beauty. And I literally just arrived an hour ago. Oh my God. It's 106 right now and I'm finally going out now, but I'm not gonna lie. This city is so peaceful. It's so peaceful. Look at that. <laughs> Lots of beautiful nature I'm very quiet like I said like for a city this is really quiet <laughs> last night when I was sleeping I didn't really wake up from you know city noises and I lived like pretty much like right in this city so that's very unusual but in a good way but right now we're walking over to Rigi Beak or however you say it apparently this has very nice views so let's go over there I feel like I'm walking up the Hollywood Hills right now <laughs> except this is cleaner <laughs> Hollywood Hills is kind of, you know, trashy. But this is like, a lot cleaner. There's no way that's a house. There's no way that's a house. That, that has to be eight digits at least. In Switzerland? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the view though. This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my God. Swiss Alps over there, I think. I recently made it to Rigibrik, however you say it. And I heard you gotta just keep climbing up until you get to the top for the coolest views. So let's still do this. According to Google Maps, it's saying I'm four minutes away from some type of tourist attraction. So let's see if I actually get to this tourist attraction. I just got here and it's just a lake. <laughs> I thought it was actually gonna be something crazy. That's beautiful though. Always gotta get the selfie. Cheese. <laughs> and there's another tourist attraction, I guess. 100 meters away, so we're going there right now. Yeah, but we got stairs first. <laughs> oh God. I haven't worked out in a while, so. <laughs> oh my. It basically says I'm here, but I'm here. So I found a landmark, I think. Yeah, that's in Swiss German. It's probably talking crap about America. Oh, I thought for a second this was English. This is really confusing. Here's a nice view. The graffiti is so beautiful here. <laughs> I thought that guy was real at first. I thought he was flipping me off for a second too. <laughs> so this right here is Zurich. I'm walking to another like little destination, but like this is literally the view I have of the city, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Sheesh, I didn't see the light of the tunnel at all until now. I then found a tower called Lulenkopf. There's a rope. <laughs> Let's go up. God, you get so dizzy. I think we're almost at the top. Oh my God. This is nuts. <laughs> Whoa. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa. I was exhausted after those three full blown minutes of me walking up those stairs. 
But I have to say, those views were worth it. That water is so clean. Look at this. That's nice. I haven't really explored too much of the city yet, but so far, like everything that I've seen, everything is so clean. Like everything is free of clutter. Not many countries that I've been to are like that. Like you'll see dirt, you'll see litter all over like France and stuff. Yeah, but here like you don't see like any litter. It's really nice. Yo, look at that rock climbing wall. That looks fun. <laughs> 4.38 right now. I still haven't eaten a thing today. Last time I ate something was last night, like at like 10 p.m. <laughs> oh my God, I'm starving. Now I'm a little bit more in the city and I wanna show you guys that there's like no trash on the ground, see? Maybe I'm on the wrong side of town, but I don't see anything. I stopped by a restaurant to give me a quick and very, very tiny snack. And of course, it did not fill me up. Since Switzerland was so expensive, I tried to be as careful as I could with my spending habits, even with food. A few minutes later, I found a pretzel for five US dollars around. That was the cheapest thing that I could find that could fill me up. I've been walking up this hill right over here while eating the pretzel. I know eating and walking up hill can be so hard. I'll tell you one thing about Zurich. There's a lot of uphill to go up in the city, kind of like Istanbul. But at least it has a nice view. I was walking around the city a little bit. Well, kind of the city. There's people at the top of that little hill. I know there's like a crazy view. So let's go see the view. Since Switzerland was so out of this world expensive, I felt like it was only wise and appropriate to go get me some Swiss McDonald's. It literally costed 20 US dollars just for a burger, small potato fries, and a donut. I am a big fan of eating McDonald's all over the world. So I'm in Switzerland, so obviously I have to have McDonald's. I got a big tasty burger, bro. I mean, it looks like a normal burger to me, but hey, hey, we gonna try it. I don't know what kind of seasoning or sauce they put in this, but it tastes a little bit different and it smells a little different too. I don't know. The meat tastes more real. This burger itself costed like nine dollars. This is nuts. <laughs> Bro, this is a small. What the heck? This looks huge. I don't know why. It just looks really freaking big to me for a small one. They actually had like a mini, small, and medium. They didn't even have like a large or anything. These are potatoes. I mean, they taste like normal potato fries, honestly. Mm. But it doesn't taste bad though. I also got this big tasty dip too, so we're gonna try that. Dip that mofo in. Ooh. It's alright. Mm -hmm. This sauce was in my burger. Bro, they stuck a fry in here. Crispy. <laughs> that fry was so bland though. But lastly, we have the donuts. Ooh. It has cream in it. I was not expecting the cream. Honestly, I think this is the first time I've ever had a donut at McDonald's. And it tastes okay. It's not like Krispy Kreme, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes like it's been setting out for a few hours now. I think Starbucks donuts are better though. It's currently 3.49 right now, and I'm finally going out. <laughs> and the reason why I'm going out so late is because I really wanted to watch the sunset, like in the city and stuff like that, because I heard the sunset's really beautiful, and it's a really beautiful day outside too, as you can see by what I'm wearing. So I really want to watch the sunset today, since this is my last full day in Zurich too, because tomorrow I'm going over to my next city, my next country, or countries, because I'm going to three new countries tomorrow. This place is so quiet, dude, so peaceful. Like, I honestly believe that this is like the quietest city in the world, bro. This is so peaceful, so quiet, so safe. It's perfect, bro. It's just expensive, that's all. I know I've shown this before, but in Switzerland, they have these like fountains and you can literally drink out of them, see? That is so fresh too. <laughs> Another thing that I have not mentioned about Zurich is these trees are so gorgeous and everything, but keep in mind, this is like, these are like the last couple of days in April. So allergies are so bad. Like every time I come out now, I get like a sore throat, headache, all that. Now it makes sense. I thought I was getting sick for a second, but no, it's just allergies. Fussganger. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Bro, what a freaking rip off. What a scam. <laughs> right, I'm genuinely curious like how cold the lake is. Oh my God, dude, that is ice cold. Bro, this place is nuts. I might be wrong, but that might be the Swiss Alps over there. <laughs> It was 6 p.m. and the bell started ringing. I thought it would only ring only six times since it was 6 p.m. But I was wrong. I honestly didn't even think it would ever stop. I think it's about done. Bro, I thought it was gonna ring six times at first. And then I remember military time 18 times. And then I thought about, wait, 1800 times maybe. <laughs> it literally went on for four minutes straight. Yeah, that was four minutes. These are the disadvantages of walking around Zurich. Always walking up a hill or down one. I was walking down one earlier. Now I'm walking up. <laughs> cool view though. Well, <sighs> it's so nice. The birds are chirping. It's warm. Finally, <laughs> so nice. <sighs> <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? Fist bump. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> For a split second, I thought this was something else. <laughs> Whoa, oh, this looks, this looks magical. <laughs> oh my. Well, I'm currently leaving Switzerland right now. Switzerland, you've been wonderful to me. This is a beautiful country, bro. Beautiful city, Zurich, so quiet. So peaceful, these people are not lying when they say it's the quietest country, city in the world. <laughs> Would highly recommend, even though it's so expensive. I didn't use public transportation one time when I was there too. Cause like everything is so walkable, like when you're in the city. Stay criminal. <laughs> Cop where? Last sip. <sighs> Yummy. So I think the real question is, is Zurich actually the quietest city in the world? Well, in my opinion, Yes. I have never ever been to a big city as big as Zurich that was as quiet and peaceful as Zurich. So I don't know if I've made my outro yet, but I'm leaving Switzerland right now. And so I just want to go on here and just do my outro and just say hi. <laughs> no, nothing crazy happened. I'm just here to say hi. <laughs>